presents Harriet Tubman, Freedom Fighter, read to you by Berlin, by Nadia L. Hahn, pictures by Gustavo Mazzali. Harriet Tubman was no ordinary hero. As a woman and a slave, she had no rights and was not taught how to read or write. She also had a disability. None of that stopped her from leading many people to freedom. Harriet Tubman was born enslaved in 1822 in Maryland. Everyone in her family was enslaved. As a slave, Harriet could be sold like an animal or a house by a white slave master. Slaves had to work for no pay. Many slaves lived and worked on small farms and plantations. They were treated badly. We know her as Harriet Tubman, but when she was born, her name was Araminta Minty Ross. When Minty was a girl in the 1800s, slavery was no longer allowed in the northern states in America, but Maryland was a southern state. When Minty was three, her sister Mariah Riddy was sold, and soon after that, Minty's sister Lena was sold too. They were taken away from the family. Soon after, Minty was loaned out to work at other plantations. Once, she had to rock a baby all night so it wouldn't cry. If the baby cried, Minty was whipped. Another time, Minty had to take muskrats out of a trap while wading in an icy marsh, even though she was sick. Minty knew that slavery was wrong. As she grew older, she started to think about escape. One day, Minty went to the store. A slave master threw a heavy weight at a slave who was trying to flee. Instead, Minty was hit on the head. She fainted and bled a lot. Minty woke up weeks later, but this injury caused a disability. Minty had seizures and headaches for the rest of her life. Minty started having vivid dreams in which God gave her guidance. When Minty was a young adult, her slave master died. The slaves on his farm knew that they might be sold far away. For Minty, this meant that her family that she loved so much might be separated and never see each other again. Harriet Tubman, as she then called herself, and two of her brothers tried to escape but turned back because the punishment would be huge. Harriet decided to escape again. Alone and with no map, she prayed that God would lead her. Harriet traveled north through the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad didn't have trains. It was a group of people, both black and white, who helped freedom seekers escape. Sometimes, the help was a safe place to hide. Hiding places were called stations. The helpers were called conductors. When Harriet got to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, she was free. For months she worked in the city. She missed her family, who were still enslaved. So she saved all her money and used it to go back south to help free her family. The trip south was dangerous. If found by slave catchers, slaves were returned to slavery, hurt or killed. Despite the enormous danger, Harriet kept going back. When the Fugitive Slave Act was passed in 1850, Philadelphia became too unsafe for Harriet and her family. So they went all the way to St. Catharines in Canada to live. But Harriet still returned to the United States to free more slaves. She moved by foot, boat, train, and wagon. She often wore disguises. She was never caught. In 1861, the Civil War began between the North and the South. The North formed the Union Army and the South formed the Confederate Army. The Union Army fought to keep the United States from breaking apart. 
wanting to help end slavery, Harriet signed up black men to be soldiers in the Union Army. She worked as a cook, a nurse, and a spy. Harriet freed slaves as the army moved. She even led a battle. When the war ended in 1865, slavery ended. Harriet believed in freedom for all until the day she died. She said, I should fight for my liberty so long as my strength lasted. Here is a timeline of the brave and courageous Harriet Tubman's life. Please feel free to pause the video at any time to take a longer look. The end. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Tap the bell to be notified for new video uploads. Thanks for watching and joining me on my reading adventures. See you next time on Book Birdies.